Hey guys, Brenny here, and welcome to a skyblock. We are wonderfully waking up to a beautiful sunset. No, sunrise, my bad. Anyway, I have been farming pretty crazily, nothing too much uh, between episodes. I didn't obviously want to, like, pull away from gameplay. Uh, but I am nearing the Cactus Farmer Challenge, so let's see if we... I, I think I am. I actually, did I complete that last time? I'm pretty sure I didn't. Let's go IS and have a look-see. Uh, yeah, see, that's the one I haven't done, so I will, uh, collect that one, as it does pay a lot more now, because cactuses have had their price lowered. I noticed that just too many people were farming them, so I had to, I had to lower it to make other things worth value, you know? But, I, I, I'll try not to speak about the work part of, well, not the work part, the, the server backend stuff that you guys don't really, like, need to see, unless you want to see. If you want to see, there's a, uh, on the server, it actually posts it right there. Uh, there's like a link and you can go to that and it'll tell you all the changes I've ever made and that is 16 more So if we go ISH and I got TPM as well because don't want people spamming me up while I'm recording And there we go so we can go IS oh no IS not ISH And we can complete the cactus farmer challenge Uh what other challenges are there though? Now, I did, I know I just said I didn't want to speak about this, but at one point I had to lower the spawn rates for mobs, and now that is back up, so that's good. Uh, we need level 200 for that one, so that one's pretty cool. But we can sell the rest of this, guys, which is going to be pretty cool. We got that sand as a reward, too, so... Alright, I'll keep the eggs, too. Oh, by the way, the way I get the eggs is when uh, the mobs spawn down here... Uh, zombie chickens are not as rare as I thought they were like uh, They will spawn and then they'll fly down here and they'll just be laying eggs into the hopper So it's actually quite nice to have all right. Let's uh, do this and get these out I am getting a message well, not a message a phone call, but luckily I was quick on that All right, uh, let's collect all of this stuff and we will see actually I want to keep the wood you know like Wood is something I need to build with, because everything will be stone if I don't build with wood. Uh, I wonder if I sh can... S I don't even know if I can sell saplings. Uh, I'll put those ones away and get that out. Alright, let's go back to our little uh, spawn and go and sell this stuff. I added server broadcast too. I try not to speak about it, but I just love speaking about it. Like... I love giving you guys the inside. I'm just, I, I love uh, being a server owner, server admin. I don't know. I, I'm both, really, but I'm also a co-owner. All right, let's uh, sell all of this, see how much we get for this. Uh, some items could not be sold, which would be these apples. 5,000 so far. Uh, it, the tree saplings do seem to sell. And 1,000, let's check our balance. 14,000, uh, so let's buy... T Ooh! I might balance. I am actually quite close to the two uh, extra diamonds to make an enchantment table. Uh, let's see how much cows are, because I'd like to buy them and breed them. I think I'm going to buy four cow eggs, so I'm going to buy two lots of this, so I'll need 2,880 gold. Uh, because then I can breed them a bit quicker, and I feel like uh, I'll get the most out of them. Because if you don't know, uh, the server actually has to clear them every 30 minutes, or else... Uh, too many build up and that is not good. Alright, so we've got that done. Now I believe it's time for us to start building the mob spawner, which I'm very excited for. Uh, let's see, I was... It's going to start from the second platform we have here. And will this be the top or the bottom though? I can't remember what I... Oh no, I need to get a pickaxe. Pickaxe will help us be able to build this a lot easier. But yeah, if I... I can't quite remember how I marked this out, and it's going to be a bit harder to see with mobs in there, so let's um, do... How do I want to block this? I think I want to block it like down there, so if they do spawn, they get stuck. Alright, so I can still activate it from there, or can I? So I think I should build it lower. Oh, alright, alright, I actually have it perfectly marked out, so that's cool. I totally forgot about that. So there we go, that will go into there, and now this is where we're going to build the real one so this three by three area will actually be drops and then we need to go out eight from here one two three four five six oh actually that's at the wrong height as well yeah because the walls need to go up so 
this needs to be the floor level and the walls need to go down and I'm gonna do some marking out and then I'll be back don't forget to leave a like okay guys so I have it now uh, what I'm gonna do is build the platforms up by here each platform is 8 by 8 and I have marked that out and each platform goes from the corner of this 3 by 3 area it's a bit confusing to like see and explain because there's all these like blocks around here but there is where the platform begins and goes out this way but then there's also like the, the the bit will be a bit lower and that's where they'll fall in and they'll be pushed I kind of want to do uh ethos oh I don't know if it's a newer designer or an older design anymore but it's where he has the little three by three pads with a uh, half slab in the middle I really like that design but it's just a bit complex to be doing it this earlier on stage for me in my opinion uh, so let's do another one here and we go out that's from the corner there so one two three four five six seven eight I think that's right I don't know if I counted it correctly uh, then I actually have done this across one two no no I haven't done it across one so it's the corner spot there so I want to break this to make it easier for me to follow and then there's not meant to be any blocks here there we go. Just doing that makes it so much easier for me to get it in my head. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that will be a square. And then further down, which is kind of hard to get to, two blocks down, so they're going to be there. There's going to be a platform here. And this is going to be the lower platform that the mobs get funneled through. And that is how they're going to go to this central point, and they'll fall down with the zombies and... It should work, I, I hope. And then it's going to go all the way down. Uh, I think that should be 24 blocks or enough of a drop. If it isn't, you know, it's not going to be too hard to expand on it. But then I need... Uh, how many hoppers is it? How many hoppers did I need to make this? I've totally forgot. Um, it is... Nine hoppers, I think, at least. So that's going to cost a fair bit. So I want to get enchantments going soon so I can make money from other things and... Like, Silk Touch. If I Silk Touch Stone, I think it sells for a bit more than Cobble. But then again, I'm also using Silk Touch, which is quite expensive. Uh, Alright, let's do this. and Build this around here. Then I like to do that. And that will be the backing. There we go. And it is going to be three wide just to make transporting the spiders a bit easier. Uh, well, that's personally, I think it makes it easier. I'm not 100% sure if it actually does help at all. Uh, there we go. Oh, also the other reason it's going to be three wide is so that we can have the zombies fall directly down the middle. But that's just a weird me being symmetrical thing. Anyway, I am going to build these four platforms and then I will be back. Okay, guys. So I have done the spawn pads. We're just going to sparta a zombie off here. Oh, if I can. Wow. Had a bit of issues with that. Anyway, let's do a slash feed as well. And all right. So now what we need is a bu two buckets of water. So we need to put one of these lava buckets over here. We have the water for the funneling. I need to put away that just because I don't want to have it on me. What else do I need? I think that should be everything. I've got torches in there as well uh, because it was getting nighttime and I didn't want mobs to spawn on there. But yeah, I'll show you guys what we have. And I don't know how well it's going to work, like I said, uh, because the spawn rates have still been changed a bit, just not as bad as they were previously. Uh, Alright, let's do that. But then again, they're also crazy good previously as well, so I don't really know what you'd count. One issue I'm worried about, like, how am I going to get up and down here? I don't, I won't be using this ladder anymore, so I'll need to make a way up and down, and that's just going to be annoying to do. Uh, but there we go, there's the water flows. The pads are done, we just need to add a wall and a roof. Then I need to light up that by bi uh my biome the the nether area and the end area enough so that no mobs spawn uh enough enough i always say stuff wrong silly me all right now we need to make the walls too high so we'll do it like this because i like to be resource friendly oh another thing i need to do is um break this central part down here which i should have probably done earlier on so this will break oh wow this is gonna be a bit confusing oh and then i have to expand the funnel i totally forgot about that uh there and i believe there as well i'm really confusing myself now and all right all right no no we're good so the mobs will be able to fit under here no endermen will spawn that is the spawn pad size 
the other mobs will be funneled. Oh, I, I probably need to open this up as well, two blocks, so... The roof level will be here. So that, that one up there... I just pointed with my finger, damn it, I always do that. The one up here was at the wrong height, sadly. But there we go, that's that. Need to get rid of that whole funnel part. I'll put, put a blocker... A few blocks up so that the zombies don't come down while we're working on this. And we will put that right in here. We'll put a torch on it to mark it. Might have to grab some... St oh, no. Oh, I'm not too happy about being here. Um, Alright, so I'll break these blocks. And I'll use this one here to be the jump one. Yeah, this one will be our, our jump one. Which... No, I'm not happy with this. This is confusing me and making it harder for me. Here, I'll, I'll do this. And this will... This will be perfect. There we go. Now we can walk on here, but we don't have to worry about falling off. Uh, we need to just do the walls, which will be too high, obviously. And then the roof. Then we take away the torches. Oh, I need to do the funnel, like I mentioned. And that's that. So I'm going to go do that, and I will be back. Okay, guys. So we n have nearly finished the roof. Oh, that was... Actually, I didn't mean to do that, but it was quite helpful. Uh, but what I want to do is... Make a bit of uh, wood into planks and then just put the logs in there. And I want to get that smelting and I kind of want to get that automatic. Like whereas I'll just keep loading it up and it will keep auto smelting. Uh, obviously it will start using its own like charcoal because that is a lot more efficient. But I'll show you guys what we have now down here. You can hear a heap of zombies in here which is actually quite annoying. And is that a... Oh I thought that was a baby zombie over there. That's what happens when mobs group up. It's quite annoying. Let's get this little guy out. Oh, welcome to Pound Town. Wow, these guys are so annoying. All right, I'm going to kill them all. And then I'm going to use my levels for good and justice. And oh my god, I'm mm -hmm, I'm going to break this and see how that goes. Oh, they all died. Excellent. Oh, maybe. All right, they. Ooh. <laughs> oh, they didn't all die. But oh no. Oh no, it's killing my frame rates. Oh no. That wasn't a very smart idea, guys. Let's go and put a block in there to stop them from going down there. I just don't like the sound zombies make. But as you can see, the roof is nearly done. Let me just get these last one. There we go. Collect all of this up. We got a solid 30 mob uh, zombies dead there. But yeah, this is all we have left on the roof. And then the zombies... Uh, well, the mob farm? I was going to call it skeleton farm because that is one thing we're really going to be concentrating on is hopefully getting bows to enchant to uh, fight the dragon because the dragon is going to reset shortly. Yeah, 10 minutes. We also got a triple don't... Ah, oh, they're out of the screen. But yeah, uh, someone donated. So thank you very much to that person. All right. Now, one thing we also need to do... Keep getting, like, awesome frame drops. I think my, um, my hard drive might be a bit full because I, I was recording heaps of Hunger Games and I want to keep all the failed games and do a Hunger Games, like, fail montage. But I don't know how you guys would like that. Um, don't know where this would be best to do. Oh, all right. Here, we'll have this go down on top of it. And then we will create a little edge part here. Like so. And like so. And then we'll dig a hole there. And we'll put water in there. And then we'll be able to go downwards a bit more. But I also need to use more water in here to allow me to do this downwards part, which is going to be pretty hard. I'll do it there. Oh, I need to collect the uh, hoppers as well. Oh, gee whiz, so much to do. I need to break all of that down. That's actually going to take quite a bit of time, so that's going to get annoying. There we go. Let's collect that. Uh, let's collect our one hopper. We don't want to lose it. I don't know why I'm using a pickaxe to break this, but I did. I hate when I half start breaking something and it takes some, like, a bit longer, kind of like the, the chest there. And then I don't want to um, like switch because it's just it seems like a waste of time. All right, so there's that. That is ready to be pulled down. And my hard drive must be nearing full because it's getting real annoying. Alright, so there we go. That is done. Now I just need to make the funnel, which I will do now, I believe, because that's all I'd really like to do. Oh, oh, I've got to make more torches too. I want to put a few more torches here and around the area. I'd also like to just make it easier to get around on our world, because all the ladders we have are going through the middles of our farms, and I think if we maybe made a nice staircase a bit over here or... 
It depends. I want to find the very center of my island first and then do it. So we might actually do that at some point, but not in this episode, in another episode. Uh, let's go and get this charcoal. Let's get some stick materials. You know, I could do that and then that would be a bit more better with my materials. There we go, 42 torches, so we are all good on torches, and now I'm going to build the funnel, and hopefully a easier way to get around, I shouldn't be jumping near the edge, easier way to get around. Okay guys, so I have made the funnel a about 41 block drop, I'm pretty happy with that, I want them to definitely be dead, I don't want like, the only ones that should survive this are some crazy maybe armoured up with feather falling, uh, and now all I have to do is do this and raise the walls so that they obviously can't escape as they're falling and land on me and kill me which has happened before so don't act don't be like oh that's not gonna happen because it does it does happen and i don't enjoy it all right let's uh do this and then we pull it all the way up to here and i made a crafting bench there because i needed to craft another pickaxe this ladder will be our way around, it will make us get around easier, so we'll just do that and we'll use this ladder for now, but we are also going to place another ladder here, because I, like you just probably seen in the background, did place the water for this so that we can mark it out. I accidentally made the platform one too low, but then I just added to it, it wasn't too hard or anything. Uh, but yeah, that is all that I'm going to be doing in between episodes. Then when we come back for the next episode, I should be doing some, hopefully getting up to enchanting at least. Uh, but yeah, I have decided I would like to do a giveaway each episode of a donor rank. So I'm going to be doing a triple donor giveaway, which gives you all three islands. Uh, all you have to do is leave a like and leave your Minecraft username in the description. Uh, well, in the comments, and in the description, I will, after 24 hours, pick a winner and put their name in there, and then I'll run the command on the server so that you guys get the rank. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, blah blah blah, and thank you all very much for watching. Bye!